Choosing a Chromebook over Windows or Windows over a Chromebook is always a tricky decision. Well, not with this laptop, it's not. Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Tech Simpo and you're watching me dive into the Acer Chromebook Spin 311, one of the best Chromebooks I've ever seen. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and notifications on. Let's get into this. So the specs are an interesting one. The Chromebook has a MediaTek 8183 processor. Now, this processor was primarily used for Android tablets, but since this isn't just a laptop and can be spun around and converted into a tablet too, hence the name Spin, it's actually very suited to this Chromebook. And this is backed up in the reviews where most people think this processor is snappy and not out of its depth. The Spin 311 also has 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 32 gigs of eMMC storage. You may think that storage will be an issue, but since you're going to save most things on the cloud anyway, it's probably not going to be much of an issue. Looks of fabulous, I must say. Stupendous. It's also a common trend that I've seen among these cheap Chromebooks. They all look great and the build quality is excellent given the price. This specific Chromebook weighs a little over 1 kilo and is actually smaller than a piece of A4 paper. But of course not too small that you can't see the screen or type easily. Risk. <laughs> There's also a webcam at the top which is perfect for online calls and Google Hangouts. The screen, it's an interesting one because it's 720p I which it's isn't right, the best like... but it has a few cool features like the antimicrobial cornering gorilla glass. <laughs> But, I mean, what does that actually mean? I don't know. Well, it's a harder, more durable screen, which, of course, is for obvious reasons. It's a touchscreen. Now, I'll let you decide in the comments whether you like the idea of a touchscreen on a laptop, because I know lots of you complain about fingerprints all over the screen, which is fair enough, and it does happen. But in this instance, it's quite important, bearing in mind it's a tablet too. Although this screen is actually odour and stain resistant, so any smudges shouldn't be that bad, really. In terms of ports and connectivity, we can see two USB Type-C ports, which are found on both sides of this Chromebook. And this is such a cool feature, because it means you can charge the laptop on both sides, like the amount of times I've gone to plug in my laptop and the wire is just isn't long enough to reach the other side, it, it's so annoying. And um, this feature completely fixes that issue. You can also use these ports to connect a HD display or transfer data. There are also two USB 3.1 Type A ports, a micro SD card slot, and a headphone jack. So, plenty of ports for the money, to be fair. But what should you do? Should you ignore it? Should you make a note of it, compare it to other laptops of its kind, or just go ahead and buy it? Well, I think you should compare it to other laptops of its kind. The reason I haven't said go ahead and buy it is purely because this Chromebook is a little it's all pricey compared to its competition. There are cheaper alternatives to the Spin 311, so let me know if you'd like me to make a video on any of them in the comments. On screen now is a similar Chromebook I reviewed, so that is definitely worth checking out. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.